because we just had heard this news break, and we've been conjecturing why IBM was doing this, so you can now explain it to us. Well, it's great to be here, David. Thank you very much. Uh, we are very excited. Uh, this morning, we're announcing the acquisition of the weather company, the technology and products portion of it. And what's really exciting about this is the weather company has a very high volume platform underlying their capability that people are accessing through mobile devices. It's cloud-based, so we're getting a very high volume platform for the Internet of Things, specifically around weather, but we'll extend that. And then we're also going to bring Watson to bear on this, which is, as you know, one of the, the largest, most powerful artificial intelligence cognitive systems. So this high volume platform plus Watson will be unmatched in the industry. Until Kelly, now, why haven't you been able to monetize Watson? It is extraordinary what you've built. Watson is incredible technology, Stephanie, and we're very excited about it. We're using it in healthcare. We're now bringing it to Internet of uh, Things. And uh, we are monetizing it. We don't break it out. It's part of our $17 billion analytics business. Very fast growth rate. And so far, amazingly, no one has been able to match the power of Watson. Is this about making Watson that much more difficult to match? I mean, when you talk about extending the ability of this cloud-based data gathering platform beyond weather, to what? Well, the way this, this underlying platform is structured, it has many modules that we can build connectors for other sources of data. So certainly the weather data, which is enormous um, in, in quantity and in, in quality, is something that Watson will ingest and comprehend and give better forecast. But we'll also be taking telematics from automobiles, we'll be taking information from medical devices and pulling all these things together. And Watson will look at these sources of information and give us better insights. So how you will this ready? change my life or the life of companies as a practical matter? When this is all done, what, what will we see that's different? Well, what you're gonna see, uh, David, is a very powerful platform cloud-based that will be able to give insights, whether you're an insurance company, a retailer, you want to optimize your supply chain, you'll be able to see your back office inventory, you'll be able to see weather patterns, you'll be able to see where your shipping is, and optimize all of this together through this Watson uh, technology on this incredible high volume technology. You already could use the Weather Channel data though. Why buy the company, especially at a time when we've seen your sales, unfortunately, go in one direction? We've had a great partnership, Stephanie, with the Weather Company, and we have had access to that, uh, that data. But really the underlying platform, which serves billions and billions of users per day through mobile devices as we all access the weather, that underlying platform is an incredible capability. It can ingest data at very high volume in fractions of a second, and that will be an engine that feeds Watson. I mean, Watson has an incredible appetite for data, and we will expand this platform into other forms. Then what do you think revenues will be from weather in five years? Well, weather, as you know, is, an, is something that we're all dealing with. It's becoming more severe, so there's lots of opportunity. But we're not, we will certainly extend the weather capability, but we're not doing this just for the weather. We want to extend this into telematics and automotive, into healthcare and other areas. Then what's your revenue platform. prediction? We're looking for growth. This is part of the strategic initiatives, which is the fastest growing portion of IBM and is increasingly becoming uh, a larger portion of IBM. Dr. Kelly, what did this cost IBM? Well, since it's a private company, we don't announce the acquisition, but it's part of our major investments in our strategic initiatives. So we're investing heavily to grow these portions of the company. But you're a public company, so David is better positioned to ask this question <laughs> than me, so chime in, David. But if it were material, That's not, you would right have here. to disclose the purchase price. So some lawyer has made the decision that the purchase price isn't material, correct? We're a very large company. We invest billions of dollars in R&D, uh, nearly six billion a year. And of course, as you know, we've done a number of acquisitions uh, this year and in previous years. How many people work at the part of the weather company that you're acquiring? There's about 900 people, David. Very, very talented organization. Some of the best meteorologists in the world. Think about what the weather company does. They break the, they break the earth down into three billion elements and they predict the weather in every one of those elements around the globe. Tremendous technology, tremendous underlying cloud-based technology, and the ability to serve up these weather predictions through a mobile device. Okay, I know you've just announced this. Talk about next steps. Does this mean you're interested in other content? 
plays, other data plays that so, might be sensible? That's right, David. So we will take this, we will further optimize the weather forecasting portion of it, but we'll add to this other modules so we can expand into other industries. So this will become a very powerful platform for IBM and for Watson.